What's going on guys, Coach Matt and Yugo Pro Baseball. I'm here with the man Matt Antonelli. Antonelli Baseball, first round draft pick. Check him out on YouTube, Antonelli Baseball, Instagram, all that good stuff. I want to talk about the top three drills. What are your go-to yep. hitting drills to help players of all ages? The first drill that we do with a lot of our players is we're going to uh, work on basically getting this leg and our lower body loaded and then keeping it loaded as we stride forward. So one big problem I see with all ages is that one, they're not going to get loaded, so they're just going to stand there and just stride and hit. Or two, they will get loaded, but the second that this foot comes off the ground, they fall forward and all of their weight gets into their front side too early. So it's, can I get loaded and can I stay loaded as I'm, as I'm moving forward, which is is the key. A real easy way to do it, but it's just literally start with your feet completely together. So now I've got to stride further than I normally would, but I'm going to feel myself get loaded. And now when I pick this leg up, I have to fight against that as I'm striding out. So the key that I tell players is uh, a couple things. One, keep your whole foot into the ground because when you push and fall, you'll, your heel will come up super early. So keep your foot down into the ground as long as you can. And then you can think about your back knee. Same thing, if I push forward, my knee wants to start to push really early. My leg starts to turn before I even come close to landing. So I'll tell the players to feel like this knee is just gonna stay back towards this foot just a little bit more. And it doesn't mean do this move, it just means that I wanna fight to keep it slightly inside my foot is basically the, the, the key. So you can do it a ton of different ways. You can go feet together. We do it where we'll cross this foot right here. Some players like this more. I actually like this one right here. And now I'll pick up and I'll start, try to fight back as I move forward. The key is see how long you can keep this foot off the ground. Not that you're gonna always hit like that, but if you force yourself to keep this off the ground as you move forward, then you've, you're basically building in a swing that doesn't just let you fall. Because if you fall, your foot goes down real early. So we do those two, and then what we do is we progress to putting something under our front foot. So you can use a milk crate, you can take your helmet off and use it, you can use a medicine ball, we use all type of stuff. So basically you're gonna get into your stance, put your feet a little closer together, put your foot up on whatever, whatever it is. And now you've got all your weight on your back leg, so now you're gonna coil, you're gonna pick your foot up off of that crate and you're gonna to start to move out, but you're gonna control it as you're moving out. So just a little, it's a little bit tougher to do that. So maybe start off with this, go to this, and then put your foot on the, uh, the implement, whatever it is. So that's my first drill. So the second one, all we do is we change the angle of our feet. So instead of being in our normal stance like this, you can do it two ways. You can turn and put your toes completely straight ahead, or you can put your toes, if you're a right-handed hitter, almost facing the first baseman. If you're a left-handed hitter, facing the third baseman. And so what this does, one, when I'm facing this way, it forces me and gives me actually a better feel for how do I get loaded. So we just talked about getting loaded with our back leg. So now when I'm facing this way, I go light on my outside foot. I'm really light, I'm on my toe. There's basically no weight here. And then I get ready to hit. So I start to get coiled up and ready like this. And so you can see how much I've got to load my leg here. I've got to get over the plate in good posture. I've got to get my upper body ready to hit. I'm super light on that, on that leg. And so now I'm in position to hit. But here's the key, because I'm turned this way and my hips are aligned kind of like down there, if I pull off the ball, if I come out of posture, then I have no choice but to roll over and yank the ball down the third base line. So on this drill, we tell our hitters we want to drive the ball over the second baseman's head. So I go here, the ball comes, and in order for me to hit the ball there, I've got to turn and I've got to be over the plate, right, so I can't pull off this way. You always hear pulling off the ball is a huge issue with young kids, right? And so if I do this and I turn the hit and I'm over the plate, my left shoulder can't pull out. So I'm right here and now I'm able to drive the ball and my barrel can chase the ball to where I'm hitting. And that doesn't mean doing one of those swings. It just means taking your swing but being from the from the inside. Okay, so the third one is uh, working on getting the player to feel like they can stay in their swing. And what I mean by staying in their swing, really two things. One is posture. So and all I mean by posture is, if you think about your spine, is your spine over the plate like this? Is it vertical like this? And so players will start in all different positions, but when their foot's about to get into the ground, they're gonna be chest over the plate. So in this position, right here. So it's important to get in the position, but then stay in there and not leave it. So we'll see 
this move right here where this shoulder will just kind of start to pull out and that's where you see like the head fly everyone always says keep your head on the ball but if your upper body wants to do this you can't keep your head on the ball so that's one thing or you'll see a lower body that kind of this leg doesn't turn it pushes up like this and it takes everything away so the drill that we'll do is i'll use this net for for right now so basically you're going to come up to the net so you're going to come up to something a wall whatever it is and you're going to get in position to hit you're just going to lightly kind of put your hat or your head up against the wall and so i want to feel like my butt's back behind my heels and my chest is over so we'll do this two ways the first way is we're just going to do a little bit of a coil and then i'm going to go through my swing and I'm gonna feel like I never take my head off of the wall. So if my head does come off the wall like this, I'm pulling off the ball like that. And so your head has to stay there. If you watch a good swing, when the hitter starts to turn, their head doesn't come away or forward. It just stays there and they hit. So if I've got the wall here and I'll cross my arms, I usually cross my arms across my chest. If the wall's here and I turn and I keep my head there, you can see how I'm over the plate right there and I'm on the ball. So we'll do that. Then we'll also progress sometimes to, we'll just hold a medicine ball. So you do the same, it's the same exact drill. You just hold the medicine ball down here and you're gonna just load up and you're gonna go like this and you're gonna hold the ball. Don't throw it, but you're just gonna do that right there and your head's got to stay on the net or on the wall right and then the last one is we actually throw the medicine ball so all of them all we're thinking about is keeping our head on the wall keeps us over the plate instead of pulling off i think the key is sometimes when players want to go 100 percent they'll have a tendency to want to use their body a lot and so i think being able to like take the percentage down a little bit, maybe 50, 60%, at least at first, and just kind of feel the movement, right? Just kind of feel this. And then as you get better at it, you can kind of ramp it up. But the, the medicine ball throwing is the only one where I'll kind of really ramp it up a little bit more. And one thing on the med ball, when you're throwing the medicine ball, it should go straight ahead. So right at the camera, if you're throwing the ball, and it's going to the left if you're a right-handed hitter, then that means you're coming off this way and you've got one of those swings again that's gonna work here. So I wanna feel like the ball is literally gonna be thrown straight at that camera. What weight medicine ball? Med ball. We have a one, a two, and a four pounder. So with our high school guys and up, we use the four pounder. With the younger kids, depends how big and strong they are. Usually I'll go two pounder with the younger, you know, 12, 13, 14 year olds. And then the real young kids, I'll probably go with a one pounder if they can handle it too. I want some weight there so they can feel it. Technically you could do it with nothing like I just did. I love it, I love it. Great information. Now I'm stealing that third drill because I never yep. saw it before. You know, he's got a YouTube channel, go over there, subscribe. Uh, He's got a ton of great stuff there. Subscribe to you, GoPro Baseball, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.